Hey everybody. So back in the summer I posted a video talking about the big myth when it comes to power lines. Um, that when you hear a loud boom, a loud kapow, or see a big bright flash, that it's a transformer exploding. Well, of course, that couldn't be further from the truth because transformers, let's face it, rarely ever explode. It does happen, but it's not very common. So, of course, out there is a transformer on the pole, and that's the one that I was um, showing in the previous video. I made the video because it was a few days earlier that we had a power outage in this neighborhood where this sideline here um, lost power due to overgrown trees and vines getting into the line and it popped this fuse which is at the very top of the pole well not very very top but if you look carefully you might be able to see it it's a uh, it's called a fuse cutout and the fuse link is inside a barrel that gets loaded into the cutout and when they blow they're very loud as you can hear here the good news is not too long later the power company Energy United came out and they um, they took care of the overgrown trees on the sideline. You can actually see the whole thing now from beginning to end. And the very last pole, and zoom in on it, right down there, that was the corporate pole that had vines growing up in. You can see, well the vines, uh, they're dead now. They were sprayed and killed. So we haven't had any more issues with this line, but I can definitely say um, we've had other, we've had an additional outage in the summer. Two other outages actually. Both were caused by trees coming across the main line. And if you look off in the distance above my neighbor's house here, you can see a brand new pole. So there's actually a second brand new pole behind that tree there. So a tree fell across the main road took out two poles, power was out for about six hours. And unfortunately, my storm cameras for CubeComp MDDX were not out filming because there wasn't any like crazy weather or nothing. This was like a week after we had a really nasty storm come through. So, I figured I'd take opportunity since the last video has really gained some traction on YouTube to talk about Transformers and so for example, that up there is a 50 kVA General Electric transformer from 1984, and we're looking at the uh, the sideward secondary taps come out on it. Um, this is what's called a completely self-protected transformer. So if we look on the side of it, let this truck get by, come up the road here. So right up on the side of the transformer. We can get a good look at it. Left of the secondary taps, there is a handle that is a breaker. The breaker operates on overcurrent, but I think it also detects over temperature in the transformer as well. These transformers are oil filled, and if the transformer gets too hot, um, it will also trip out the breaker. Now, I don't want to walk into my neighbor's yard, but Right up there is a fuse cutout I was talking about. You can see it right there. That's when that's what went kapow in the previous video. And a lot of times when these fuses let go, people think transformers explode because, well, <laughs> it's just a common myth, I guess. Now on some distribution systems, now Energy United, they're starting to head this direction with their their transformers on main lines are starting to put fuse cutouts on the main line transformers whereas on side lines the transformers are still maybe you'll see right there the uh, primary um, cable going from the top of the transformer is still connected directly to the phase there's no fuse there the transformer being a CSP transformer has a fuse internally okay here's another transformer to look at so this is the one that feeds my place as well as this home across the street here. This is an Ermco 
125 kVA transformer from 1985 and it's also a CSP type transformer we're looking at the back side right now we'll go to the front side where you can see the primary well, excuse me the secondary bushings so right up here if you look carefully you'll see where the secondary bushings are this is a 120 slash 240 volt transformer you have two 120 volt taps and you have a center tap which is bonded to the transformer can as well as the neutral and to the left you can see that handle I was talking about on the other transformer acts as a, it acts as a breaker um, it can be manually operated and of course it can also be reset with a hot stick so that breaker handle um, the breaker itself as I mentioned operates on overcurrent it also operates on let's say if the internal temperature of the transformer gets too hot I believe these things also sense that as well they sense the temperature of the oil that's inside that way if things get too hot it will shut things down some of these CSP breakers have a signal light on them to where if the transformer is overloaded but not to the point of tripping it will actually turn on a light this one does not have that now transformers they are sealed from the outside environment both the pole the uh, pole transformers like this one as well as pad mounted transformers they're both sealed from the outside and if we look on the back here to the left of the lightning arrestor you can see a pressure relief valve and if pressure inside there gets too high that will operate and release pressure one reason why transformers do explode is let's say if that pressure relief does not work and internal temps get too or internal pressures get too strong it will actually blow things up and so in the event that internal pressures do exceed a certain threshold that will operate and allow the excess pressure to escape um, one thing that can cause transformers to explode is internal pressures getting too high um, let's say the pressure relief does not work um, it could literally blow the top off the can like I said it doesn't happen often but it can happen and also that valve can be manually pulled to equalize pressures inside the transformer to the outside let's say if a technician is going to work on it they're going to take the top off of it that's what they would do first they would pull that and it would open the valve and allow any internal pressure to escape or any vacuum to escape as well so in case you're wondering um, about transformers what kind of protections they have well that's just a couple of them so if we back up a little bit here you can see as I said earlier um, this transformer um, is actually connected straight to the hotline to the primary with no fuse because there is a fuse inside the transformer on the primary and there's also the breaker on the secondary um, that's what these CSP type transformers have there's also a type of transformer that's called conventional those do not have a CSP breaker nor an internal fuse and those must be fused externally and generally they're fused um, for the size of the transformer like let's say for example I think some utilities might fuse a 25 kVA transformer at, I don't know 4 or 5 amps something like that because that's generally the maximum they should pull on the primary side these things generally only pull maybe a couple of amps tops under typical normal load when you don't have any big demands going on but anyways I wanted to make this video because I realized my last video about these transformers had definitely gained some traction and I felt that a follow-up video was necessary so anyways hope you enjoyed this video thanks for watching hey everybody thanks for taking the time to watch this video from Cuckoo channel if this is your first time please subscribe to the channel and be sure to tick the bell so we get notified new video posts please like this video if you enjoyed it leave a comment and share this video as well as the channel with your friends and get the word out also, I have a second channel, that's Cubed Comp MTDX. Over there you'll find videos about thunderstorms and weather, cycling, and videos about me personally. Feel free to subscribe over there as well if you like. Again, I really hope you enjoyed this video, and thank you so much for your support.